And you are from Iran? It's a brand new world and you have got to fit in. Can you adapt? Well, chap, it all depends. Cause when your parents relocate to a far off western state, it's a brand new world for Bobak and his friends. Meet Bobak, he wants to be the well accepted kind. They are cold want to fit in. Bob, this is a new beginning for you. Yeah, I guess so. How do you feel about going to a new school with a new teacher and making all new friends? Okay, I guess. Okay, okay. How can it be okay? First day of school is never okay. It's horrible, just terrible, downright frightening if you ask me. And then all those new kids that you don't know, they'll laugh when they find out where you're from. <laughs> A new teacher? She'll probably be me. And the school? Ha! Take a look at the school. It's underground. Underground. And you. You'll definitely get lost and never be able to find your classes. And then there's a lot of schoolwork and homework. Oh, you must be terrified. Well, I wasn't before, but now I am. Oh, my goodness. Don't look now, but the first day of school is coming. What's the matter, Azizam? Momon, I don't want to go to school tomorrow. Oh, Bobak, you were just having a bad dream. You're just nervous, that's all. You'll see, everything will be fine. No, it won't. I'm going to a new school and nobody knows me. They'll make fun of me and I'll get lost and the school will eat me. Eat you? <laughs> Bobak Jun, whatever are you talking about? It's a new school for everyone, remember? And you'll make friends in no time. And don't forget, you'll have your cousins, Salman and Susan, with you too. Now go to sleep and get a good night's rest. You have a big day tomorrow. The first day of school is something to be enjoyed. Nobody's ever nervous. Teachers, I'm going to be your classroom this year. I, 
I mean, good morning, children. I'm going to be your student this year. Oh, oh no. It's going to be okay. Everyone is happy. Everything is fine. Okay, breathe. Breathe. Um, go to your happy place. Good morning, class. You're all just children. And I am the teacher, Miss Pickleberry. Believe it or not, I have never done this before. I mean, I, I have, but not by myself. Oh, what I mean to say is, this is the first time I am the teacher of my very own classroom. You know what I mean. So, I'll stop talking now. Oh, of course, I can't stop talking. I'm the teacher. You guys have to stop talking. But you really aren't talking, are you? Hmm, so... Does anyone have any questions? Does the miss mean that you're missing a husband? Well, that's not quite the question I had in mind. I... well, I am single, not married yet, and... and... Uh... <laughs> it's going to be okay, everyone is happy, everything is fine. Yes, I am happily single. And someday, when the right person comes along, I will be happily married. But enough about me. Let's find out a bit about you guys. Like, your names. Who are all of you little people? Let's take roll, shall we? This should only take a minute, and then we can begin our day. Hmm, let's see. Banana wit? Banana wanna? Banazzle? Kedzikian? Kedziki? Kranzuzal? Nikki Anthemum? Nikki Enthusa? Nikki Tiki Tavi? Uh... Oh, look at that. It's lunchtime already. Time does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? We can continue the roll after we eat. I'm going over there. Hey, someone, what will you trade me for this? Come on. That girl's reading a book. So? Miss Pickleberry hasn't told us to read anything yet. Why would she be reading if we haven't been asked to? Who cares? I wonder what she's reading. I'm going to ask her. No! Just forget it. We don't even know her. Hi. What's your name? Damaris? See? Now we know her. Hi, I'm Michael. Can I sit with you guys? I guess. I'm Salma. This is Bobak, my cousin, and that's Damaris. Wow, what weird names. Did you hear all those other weird names? I sure wish I had a weird name. Did you see Miss Pickleberry cry like that? That was weird. Why do you think this school is underground? Don't you think that's weird? Who goes to school underground? Are you the girls real? real? Hey! Who's that kid walking toward us? Hi, can I take your order, please? Huh? Uh, just kidding. I'm not really a waiter. My name is Sanjay. Why are you dressed like that if you're not a waiter? It's my school uniform from India. That's what we wear to school there. My mom made me wear it today. You're from India? What part? What part? Just my legs, yeah. That's weird. Just kidding. All of me is from India. I'm from Mumbai. Is being Indian like cowboys and Indians? I love to play cowboy. I think he's talking about another kind of Indian. He comes from the subcontinent of India, in Asia. So, is that for? Not at all, Yard. Just a quick rickshaw ride down the street. Really? No, he's just kidding. It's about 12,000 kilometers from Bombay to New York. And, uh, uh... 
I sure wish I came from a faraway country. Look, he has a cell phone. Wow, that looks really cool. Hi, Michael, what's that? Can I see it? Sure. It's brand new, so be careful with it. It's a Sing Sing Z4 LX. I had the Sing Sing Z2 LX, but as soon as the 4LX model came out, I got the new one. My cousin sent it to me from Korea. Huh? I wish I had cousins from cool, faraway places. It's not that great. Are you from China? No, I'm Korean. Um, well, do you like Chinese food? What a cool phone. You're so lucky. My cousins never bring me anything cool. They just come to my house and eat our food. It's true. So, Bobak, where are you from? Me, um, I'm from... He's like me. He's from Iraq. Whoops. My phone! Got milk? No, we do. Someone, come here. But I have milk on my pants. Whatever, just don't tell them that we're Iranian. Why not? What's wrong with being Iranian? Those kids will tease us. I don't want to get teased anymore. I don't think these guys will. They're cool. Maybe but I'm not taking any chances. Okay, but I don't care if they know where I'm from. I like them. I've got milk on my pants. Bye. Your mouth, your move, your... It's pronounced Yarmouth. Great present. Phew, that was tough, but at least we're finished. With about 10 minutes to spare. Well, we'll have to start our actual lessons tomorrow. Yay! But first, I want to give you your assignment for tonight. Aww. I want to know who all of you are, as I'm sure your fellow classmates would like to know as well. For your assignment tonight, I want you to write down who you are, where you come from, what you like, and then draw a picture to show us as well. Tomorrow you can share your stories with the rest of the class. Hey, Bob, back. We're going to play a game. Want to play with us? Sure. What are you playing? He can't play with us. He's a terrorist. He can be the bad guy because Iranians are the bad guys. Yeah, Iranian. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kids having fun? Yes, Kale. Bobak, you had better be finished with your homework assignment if you're playing video games. I'm done. Yeah, and how did it go? Fine. And? And what? Can I see it? Momon, I finished it, really. I'm sure you did. I just want to see it, that's all. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. It's on your desk over there. Shh. Not sure where it is. What are you talking about? Let me see it. I won't laugh, I promise. Um, can I can I show it to you later? Later? Bobak, are you lying to me? Did you finish your homework assignment or not? Yes, I promise. Then let me see it. You should let her see it. Now, why was that so hard? Hi, my name is Bobak. I'm nine years old. That's so cute. 
Some people wonder where I come from. They think that my name makes me a bad guy. But actually, I was named by my parents who were in a traveling circus. My dad is the skeleton man. My mom is the lobster girl. Lobster girl? Skeleton man? Well, that is kind of thin. I didn't know your mom was a lobster. Shh! Wabak, this is terrible! I can't believe you could say such things. Don't you have any pride? Why, why would you make up such horrible lies? <sighs> because kids always make fun of me when they hear I'm Iranian. They sing mean songs and call me names. They say things that aren't true. I don't like it when they know. I'd rather they didn't. Bobak, sometimes when kids hear bad things about a country, they think that makes the people who come from that country bad as well. It's up to you to show them that that kind of thinking is wrong. You need to stop worrying about what people think and concentrate on being yourself. I mean, really, Bobak, a circus? As bad as things may seem, I don't think you'd be better off being raised in a circus. How can you expect people to like you if you don't even let them know who you are? Okay, kids, let's quiet down and get this show on the road. Who would like to go first? I'll go first. Great, Sanjay, go ahead. Hello, I'm Sanjay Narayan from India. I attended Green Lawn School in Bombay, or as it is called now, Mumbai. Mumbai is the center of Bollywood, which is like Hollywood, only better. In my home, we have a pet elephant named Winston. Just kidding, that's an English name. His name is Ramakrishna Swami Nathan. Just kidding, we don't keep elephants as pets. We moved here this summer because of my father's job. I am very happy to be here, especially because I don't have to wear a school uniform. Thank you very much. Very good, Sanjay. And I'm sure you will find many more things to like about your new home as well, other than not having to wear a uniform. And I sure hope you teach us a lot more about India along the way. Who would like to go next? Damaris, how about you? Would you like to be the next one up? My name is Damaris. I like to read books. I just read a book called Tintin in Tibet. It is better than the book I read before that, but not as good as the book I read before that one. My parents moved here from Cuba. In Cuba, people speak Spanish. I can speak Spanish too. <laughs> Fantastic, Damaris. Now, who will we hear from next? And I have a twin sister, Susan, and a cousin, Bobak. Hi, Susan. Hi, Bobak. I love them, but they can be kind of cranky sometimes. I'm Susan, and if my goofy brother thinks he's seen cranky, wait till he gets home. <sighs> and I'm allergic to pollen, and I'm allergic to grass. My dad says I have no tolerance for lactose. And I'm allergic to... <laughs> Hi, I'm Jay Woo Kim, but I go by Jay. My parents are from Korea, but I was born in the hospital. I have an older sister named Hannah. But enough about them, check this out. This is the digital sketch and etch I did my drawing on. Pretty cool, huh? Now, check this out. It projects in 3D. My picture is me playing golf with my dad the other day. I shot a three, but my dad got a bogey. That is our report. Thank you. Yay! Wow, I can't believe we're almost finished. We only have two students left, Michael and Bobak. Bobak, would you like to go next? No, it's okay. He can go first. No, it's okay. Bobak can go first. Nah, you go first. Bobak, cut it out and just go already. Oh, 
Okay, here it goes. My name is Bobak. I like playing Dragon War, video games, and I have a pretty cool collection of superhero action figures. And, um... I'm from Iran. And, well... And... I hope that you will give me a chance to show you that I am a good person and a fun friend to have. Thank you. I'm done. Very nice, Bobak. I'm sure we would all love to learn more about Iran, and we are so lucky to have not one or two, but three people in this class to teach us about this culture. That is just wonderful. All right, Michael, the floor is all yours. <clears throat> I have to say, Miss Pickleberry, that we've heard some pretty interesting stories today, haven't we? Indeed we have. <laughs> well, you haven't heard anything yet. Attention, classmates. I, Michael, have been raised by none other than members of a traveling circus. After finding me as a baby, cold and shivering one rainy night in the dark forest of Quaker Oaks, the fat, bearded lady took me in and raised me as her own child. She placed me under a rock and named me Michael. That means placed under a rock. I lived off bugs and tree bark. And then we moved here and my mom lost weight and shaved off her beard. The end. Nice job, kids. See you tomorrow. Good work today. Um, Michael, can I see you for a minute? Sure. Why did you make up the story in your assignment? I just wish I had a cool story like the other kids. They all come from these cool places and have these different names I've never heard before and speak different languages. I just feel like they'd think I'm boring. Trust me, Michael. A person with your imagination can never be thought of as boring. Be that as it may, can you get me your real story by tomorrow? Sure, Miss Pickleberry. So, how did your assignment go? Uh, it went okay, I guess. Bobak, you got an A! That's not just... Okay, it's fantastic. Eh. Well, I'm proud of you. I'm glad you decided to do the right thing and tell the kids who you really are. Don't you feel better? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, Momon? Yes? You know, you really shouldn't put anyone down for being raised in a circus, because their kids are pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe so, Bobak. Maybe so. You know, I think all in all, this is a pretty good beginning for you, Bobak. This is going to turn out to be a big year for you. Yeah, I think it will. <laughs> <laughs>